Welcome back. You're watching Overdrive and it's time now for us to take your queries on Auto Selector. Sirish joins us from Pune. Hey Sirish, how are you doing today? Let me start with our first question. This comes in to us from Karan Bhatia. Karan writes in from Amritsar. He's a big fan of Overdrive, the magazine and the show, of course. He says he currently owns a Verna, an i10 and a Wagoner. His father wants to buy an SUV because he really likes the design appeal of a big SUV. After selling the Wagoner, his budget comes up to about 11 rack rupees. The Innova has actually been ruled out by his family. The options for them are the Scorpio and the Safari. His vehicle should do a monthly average of about 600 kilometers, mostly highway driving. His priorities are safety, handling, passenger comfort and reliability. So what would you bet on the Scorpio or the Safari series? If you're looking for something that meets the SUV billing, neither the Innova nor the new Zylo meets that uh, billing. So you should look at either the Safari or the Scorpio. And considering your priorities, the Scorpio makes a lot more sense. See, the, you know, the Safari, it scores on space. It's got a lot of space inside and it's got extremely good ride quality. But apart from that, the Scorpio scores on all other factors. It has a more powerful engine. It has a more drivable engine. So you can harness that performance easily. It's got better quality. The interior fit and finish is far better. Now with the coil springs, the ride quality has become better. Okay, not as good as the Safari, but it is quite good and the handling is stable. Braking is also stable. It also looks much better than the Safari now with all the updates that has been going on. So the Scorpio on all these fronts, it uh, will suit you much better than the Safari. Well, all right, Karan. Sirish seems to agree with me. Scorpio is the right choice for you. Let's move on to our next question. And this comes into us from Arpit Arora. He says he's planning to buy himself a Tata Indigo CS, but he's confused about which diesel engine he should opt for. Now, several Tata salesmen are asking him to go in for the TDI rather than the Decor. He understands the Decor is relatively newer to the Tata stable than the TDI. What he's actually looking for is long-term reliability and low maintenance costs. He doesn't mind paying extra for a smoother engine, which is less noisier. So can you enlist a few important facts about both engines, which would actually aid him make his decision? TDI, Decor. Well, the TDI and the Dicor engine are available in the range. The TDI is the old turbocharged direct injection diesel engine, which is a very old engine. The Dicor is an update on the TDI engine with common rail turbocharged direct injection. So it is a more modern engine and uh, see both the engines make around 70 PS of power. So performance is the same, but the common rail engine is more drivable. It has got better refinement. It's got slightly better fuel efficiency. So in all respects, it is a more modern engine. So I think you should opt for that. Though consider this, that the uh, Dicor engine is 40,000 more than the TDI. So if your budget is tight, then stick with the TDI. In terms of performance, there's not much difference. You can get better drivability in the Dicor, but that's about it. Okay, Arpit, as Sirish said, if it's drivability that you're actually looking for, then go for the Decor, but otherwise the option that he would recommend is the TDI. Up next, a biking question. Sirish Krishna writes in from Mysore saying he wants to purchase a motorcycle. His budget is 40,000 rupees. Mileage and maintenance is top priority. It should perform well and be comfortable. He's considered the Bajaj Platina and the TVS Star City. What would your advice to him be? Well, you won't go wrong with either bike. Both of them are equally good. With the Bajaj, you get slightly more fuel efficiency, slightly more performance. The TVS, on the other hand, has a more rugged feel to it. So it feels like it can last for much longer. In terms of reliability, again, both are the same. Both are in the same ballpark. So the, no, it all depends on what your priorities are. If you want a more comfortable bike, which is a little bigger in size than the Star City, or if your fuel efficiency criteria is really important, then it's a platina for you. Well, happy biking, Krishna. And remember, always wear your helmet when you're out on the road. Time for our next question. It comes into us from Vishnu from Bangalore. He says he wants to buy the Hyundai Accent, but he's concerned about its fuel efficiency. Does the Get CRDI have the same engine as the Werner? And though he finds the Gets a bit outdated, he would like to know what the best option would be between the Gets and the Accent. His budget is about five and a half lakh rupees. Fuel efficiency is his priority. He's even considered the Accent LPG, but again, he's a little unsure about it. He would love to go in for a Hyundai, but only if these are the best options to cater to his requirements. What would your advice be, Sirish? Well, the Getz does have the same CRDI engine from the Verna and it is extremely powerful. It is slightly detuned compared to the Verna, but it's still among hatchbacks, among diesel hatchbacks. It is a rocket. It's a very powerful engine. It's uh, great to drive, great drivability, very good fuel efficiency too. So that should not be a problem. Compared to the Accent, see the Accent has a boot. The, uh, the Getz does not have a boot. So that's, that's a complete different uh, segment that you're talking about. 
if that is not a priority, then go for the gets because it's easier to drive in the city. It's uh, you no know, got a slightly spottier image compared to the X. That said, the gets is no uh, is nothing very new. The i20 is internationally the gets replacement. So the gets is an old product, but that engine quite makes up for most of these uh, deficiencies. And again, I'm repeating myself, it is fuel efficient. So if fuel efficiency is your pri uh, priority, the Getz diesel priced at 4.9 lakhs now is a very good buy. Well, that's your answer, Vishnu. If you're really looking for a car that gives you fuel efficiency and value for money, then do consider the Getz. Time for a quick commercial break, but don't go anywhere. There's a lot more on Overdrive.